Hello friends, welcome back to tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can convert a Boolean function from sum of min terms to product of max term form. There is a direct way to convert a function, a Boolean function from sum of min terms to product of max terms form. Suppose there is a function f1 of three variables a, b and c. It is expressed in the sum of min terms. Now the min terms which uh, are included in this function f1 have subscripts to 0, 2, 4 and 6. It means f1 is equals to m0 plus m2 plus m4 plus m6. Now first of all find the complement of this function f1. The complement of this function would be the sum of those min terms which are not present in the function f1. So it would be the sum of the min terms whose subscripts are 1, 3, 5 and 7. Now we have to, what we have to do, we have to transform this function f1 into a form of product of max terms. So what we have to do, first of all, replace this sigma symbol by pi symbol. Now, write the subscript numbers which are present in the complement of function f1, that is 1, 3, 5, 7, as it is. So, this has become the function f1 of three variables a, b, c which is expressed in the form of product of max terms. So what we have done, we have replaced this sigma symbol by pi symbol, right? And we have found the subscript number of min terms which are included in the complement of f1 function, right? Now these Right? These number will be written as it is when the function is expressed in the form of product of max terms. Right? Now see how it happens. Now here it is the function f1 complement. Right? It is of three variables a, b, c. Now it is the sum of min terms of 1, 3, 5 and 7. Right, that is f1 complement is equal to m1 plus m3 plus m5 plus m7. Now, take the complement of both sides. So, the complement of f1 complement would be equal to f1. And the complement of m1 plus m3 plus m5 plus m7 would be equal to m1 complement and m3 complement and m5 complement and m7 complement and we know that the complement of a min term of subscript j is equal to a max term of subscript j so f1 would be equal to m1 and m3 and m5 and m7 so the function f1 can be represented as the product of max terms of subscript 1, 3, 5 and 7. So it means the subscript number uh, of the max terms when the function is expressed as the product of max term is same as the subscript numbers of the min terms of the complement of the function. Thank you very much.